I remember her saying, I can't just sit and pray for people. <laughs> I need to go and do and help and use my hands. Yeah. That's Kayla Mueller was hoping to help people when she traveled to a Doctors Without Borders hospital in Syria in 2013. She was kidnapped by ISIS the next day. Her parents, Marsha and Carl, opened their home to the Today Show in 2015. I'm still in denial. <laughs> I still expect Kayla to come through the door. Kayla was held captive for 18 months. During that time, she was moved by ISIS from location to location, sometimes put in a room with other captive women. We have a few Yazidi girls that spent short times with Kayla. But all of them, I will have to say, everyone we have talked to talked about Kayla's strength. Eventually, she was taken by the head of ISIS and abused repeatedly. She is believed to have been killed in 2015. Among her captors, a group of British citizens nicknamed the Beatles for their accents, including a man known as Jihadi John, who was later killed in a U.S. drone strike. And these two men, who were captured in Syria and are now being held in U.S. custody in Iraq. In the past, the men pretended to have no idea who Kayla was. Did you ever meet Kayla Mueller? Who? Kayla Mueller. Didn't meet any foreign non-Muslims. But in an exclusive interview obtained by NBC News, the two men give detailed accounts about her and how they got her parents' email address to send ransom notes. I took an email from her. Okay. I took an email from her myself, yeah. Okay. She yeah. was alone. I saw she was very scared. In a room by herself that no one would go in. Mine, they, they're, they're admitting that, that they were there. Of course, they're not going to tell the dark side of the story. The Mueller's and the families of James Foley, Stephen Sotloff, and Peter Kasig, who were also killed by ISIS, have been pressing federal prosecutors to charge the men. And, and they need to be brought here. They need to be prosecuted. But the case has been held up. A British court ruled in March that the United States can't use crucial evidence against the two men gathered by British investigators unless the United States promises they won't receive the death penalty. I don't think anything should be taken off the table. And the Mueller's say they fear the so-called Beatles will get a light sentence if tried in the UK. You know, that's a recruiting tool for the terrorists. Look, these guys did all these terrible things. We're part of torturing and killing Americans, and they walk away in five years. That can't happen. We're reaching out to President Trump, Attorney General Barr, and the DOJ. We don't want this to go away. A trial in the United States is what Kayla would have wanted, they say. And she would want these men tried. If they're innocent, if somehow they believe they're innocent, then go before a jury and prove it. And you're going to have to give us information. Information that would help the family bring Kayla home. And bring her home. And bring all, every, there are so many people that have missing people over there. And that's what Kayla would want. The family has been through so much, Richard, and now this. How likely is it that these two men would be brought to the United States to face charges? Well, Savannah, there is this legal issue. A court in this country, in the UK, ruled that if the United States is seeking the death penalty, then British authorities won't hand over the evidence that they have. And the Brits have been following these men closely. They really have the best evidence. If the U.S. drops the death penalty, pursues life, uh, life sentences, that legal obstacle would go away. So there are some negotiations that still need to take place and, and to, to figure out the, the best way to move forward legally. But the families don't want this case to go away. And that's why the families of the victims today wrote an op-ed in the Washington Post urging the Trump administration to move this case forward. And it's astonishing to see those two men talking about mm -hmm. Kayla Mueller mm -hmm. after all these years. Mm -hmm. Richard, thank you very much.